They say this is a big rich town I just come from the poorest part Bright light city life, I gotta make it This is where it goes down I just happen to come up hard I never took a straight path nowhere Life's full of twists and turns Bumps and bruises, I live, I learn I'm from that city full of yellow cabs and skyscrapers It's hard to get a start in these parts without paper Homie, I grew up in hell A block away from heaven That corner ain't 15 minutes and move a seven Pure snow Bag it, then watch it go. Occupational options. Get some blow up some hoes. Shoot the ball of the strap. Learn the rap or the jack. Fuck it, man. In the meantime, go ahead and pump a pack. This my regal royal flow. My James Bond bounce. That double O seven, that 62 on my count. I'm an undercover liar. I lie under the covers. Look a bitch in the eyes and tell her, baby, I love it. You're my inspiration. You're my motivation. You're the reason that I'm moving with no hesitation. This is a big rich town. Yeah. I just come. From the poet's part Bright light, city life I gotta make it This is where it goes down What's poppin' on the Tim's crew? What's going on with y'all? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin', y'all? What's poppin', y'all? Welcome, 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 everybody. Come on in. Make sure y'all smashing that like button. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Yes, y'all. I'm back with another recap of Power, y'all. And guess what? I'm on the main channel, y'all. So y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure, please, make sure that you are still subscribed to this channel. If you already subscribed, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit that notification bell. Because we are slowly but surely getting back on the road to normality. Okay. <laughs> So what's popping y'all and also make sure y'all subscribe to the backup channels as well Mel up the dog and also queen of the east the links will be in the chat as well but y'all we gotta get into season four episode seven just to recap is something else chat and this episode was a little uh what y'all think drop down in the comments and let me know how we feeling about this season four episode seven the power so far now, I'm like, dang, 50 now. I mean, I get it. The season, you know, the show, the series is about to wrap up. But dang, it's only like two episodes left. And then, like, the show, the series is, like, over with. Finito. Complete. So, it really, I don't know. It was giving, I don't know. The break in between was longer than the damn series seemed like to me. I don't know. It's just kind of speeding up. You know what I mean? It's speeding up a little bit rapidly, a little piece of quickly. I don't know. I don't even know which way they're going to make this, though. I don't, I have no clue what direction they're going in. I thought I had like a little piece of handle on the direction they were going in, but I don't know. It's people that I thought were going to be here and not here anymore and things like that. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. So let me know what y'all think. But again, y'all, make sure y'all hit that like button. And we're going to get into the spot of recap. Now, trigger warning, trigger warning, spoiler alert, all that good stuff, whatever y'all into. Y'all make sure y'all catching up on the episodes. You know, on uh, stars. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all catching up on it every Friday night at midnight. You know what I mean? If you have the app, you can catch it like that. It'll come out early. It'll come out exactly at midnight. So, you know what I'm saying? So, you can catch it up like that. But y'all make sure y'all catching up on the recaps. And I'm just letting y'all know. Spoiler alert. But y'all can definitely hit the like button and come back to it on the replay. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't seen the episode, that's dope as well. But, uh, y'all, this is some foolery some foolery if i ever seen it so first off you know trigger one i definitely um i know this is a fictional show based on fictional characters but the subject matter is uh for mature audiences 18 and over and it does trickle into real life um diana's character uh lost her child so i do want to be sensitive to those that really have dealt with those issues in real life so i want to give you a trigger warning that um she did uh they opened up with her in the hospital i'm um, dealing with the devastation of losing her um unborn child so i i just wanted to take a moment y'all throw some prayer hands in the chat for those um that really have 
men and women that have uh, suffered through loss of um, pregnancies and things like that because that is a very serious matter. And men are affected by that as well. Even though they don't carry the children, they lose out on a child as well. So I just wanted to make that first and foremost. And um, you know what I'm saying? And just to let you guys give your heads up that that is in the opening scene. So if that is going to be a hard subject for you, you might want to skip over. You know what I mean? Fast forward through that a little piece of it. But um, so uh, going forward, so Tariq already learns that Diana has lost the baby. Um, Diana wakes up, you know, from unconsciousness and she looks at Tariq and he, you know, he gives her a look. So she already kind of knows what's happening. So she's devastated. Monet comes to the hospital and Monet and um, Kane comes to the hospital. So they basically find out, you know, what happened with Diana and the baby. So now they know that it's that dag on Ugh, this chick. This lady who I have no sympathy for. That dag on Alicia chick. You know, the, the dirty cop that's under Carter's team. You know, Ugh, Michael Ealy and his whole little piece of team. So his dirty narcotics team, if you will. So now we know, you know, so now Monet knows it's her. She didn't want to tell Kane exactly who the person was that did that to Diana because she already knows it's going to get him caught up in the crossfire even further, you know, dealing with Monet and everything like that. It's going to, you know, put him at uh, Felicia, my bad. Did I say Alicia or Felicia? My bad. Her name is Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Okay. I should have remembered that. Okay. So now it's just like, okay, we definitely, you know, we know now it's going to be a situation because now Monet knows and shit, Diana rightfully so want her get back. You know what I mean? It's like now she on some. <sighs> It's on some clapback type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you made me take a loss. Now I got to make you take a loss. So, um, you know, she Monet gets up out the hospital. Drew is still in, you know, in his uh temporary incarceration. You know what I'm saying? So he is, uh, they still have him on assignment to take out um, the person that's going to be snitching on Carter and his team. So... He's still in there trying to figure out ways, you know what I mean, to get rid of him to sign up third with some what what looks like to be help from the guards. <laughs> Cause uh, you know, it seems like they're trying to like help a system and getting rid of the snitch. So Drew's still working on that. So we gonna put put a pin in that for a second. We're gonna get back to Drew, but I just wanna give you guys an update on him real quick to let you know that he's still working on getting rid of the person that's supposed to snitch on Carter and the whole crew. So now uh, Tariq is mad. Tariq is boring. He's about to he about to take revenge out on Felicia and get her together because he um, now Monet did tell him, you know, this is family business to stand the third or whatever like that. Like kind of like dismissing him, like you know, it doesn't concern you to stand the third. And I appreciate you know the response. Like with all due respect, I don't work for you anymore. But that was my baby too. I took a loss as well. So you can't tell me how to respond to it, how to react to it. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Even though the child wasn't planned, he did, you know, plan on being a father and being present in the child's life. So I thought that response was pretty, you know, it was, you know, decent. I mean, you know, it's, it's fiction. You know, I'm just trying to work with the fictional characters, okay? But, um, anywho. So he is like on a one man mission. He about to go find Felicia. And go by Felicia. So he calls Davis. Um, it came at the man. And it's like, yo, give me her address. I want shit now. Write it down now. So Davis is like, Terry, what are you doing? What's going on? Da, da, da. He already know the tone. He already know the question. He already know where that's going. You know, what's happening? Why you want her address? Yada, yada, yada. I got a hint. She made Diana lose the baby. It's up and it's stuck. I'm on her ass. Like, we got to go get this bitch. You know what I'm saying? So, Matthew Man is like, you know, let me make some calls. Let me try to make something happen before you go running around doing something else and get in further trouble. You know what I mean? And, and bring more mess and things like that. Because remember, David can't really help Tariq because he on the way to getting disbarred. 
he all you know with in trouble with the bar association and all of that so he can't really help him if he wanted to you know what i'm saying so he is like you know what i'm saying let me try to do something on my end before you go flying off the handle and fucking all this shit up you know what i'm saying further you know what i mean so um uh, and welcome everybody if you're just now getting in the building y'all make sure y'all smashing that like button like share and subscribe to the channel tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend i am just in the middle of recapping season four episode seven of power so we getting into that y'all so again trigger warning spoiler alert if you haven't seen it yet um you can hit the like button come back on the replay i do appreciate that but if you see you know if you're not wanting to get all upset about spoiler alerts rock out with it you know what i'm saying I mean, we got about two episodes left until the series is complete. So it seems like 50 is like, to me, um, kind of speeding up the storyline a little bit. Like things are like kind of heating up. Like even though they weren't um, fully heated in the first five episodes, you know, before the break, you're starting to speed up now. To me anyway, in my opinion. Y'all yeah, drop that in the comments and let me know. If y'all feel the same way. To me, it seems like the storyline is um it is speeding up. And I do um and I saw some of y'all comments in the last uh, recap that I did. Some of some of the storyline is unbelievable. It is. It's like um I don't know if 50 ran out of ideas or if they rushed him to hurry up and write the plot or write the script. But some of the storylines are a little piece of unbelievable. Like the first ghost to me. The original ghost that storyline was so believable it was so authentic it was so well thought and thought out and presented you know what i mean everything went in like the right order and the timeline and the speed in which it was supposed to go to me like this series finale this last season to me is a little bit sped up i don't know i could be wrong but that's just my opinion and like i said y'all can drop down in the comments let me know what y'all think but it's to me it's a little piece of sped up it's just like we went from you know, he, he's trying to figure out his way through, you know, how to sell on the campus. So now he's like, and then he really didn't want anything to do with it. Now he's like extra in the trenches of it, extra deep. And he just, he's come to grips with the fact that he's just going to have to be a whole, you know, gangster, you know, pushing weight and all that. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. But. For the sake of the show, you know, like I said, it's, again, it's fictional purposes. So, for the sake of the show, I guess we gotta roll with the punches on it, right? So, anyway, so back to, um, sorry y'all if I sniffle, my allergies are bothering me a little piece of it. So, I'm trying to get through this, y'all. So, bear with me. But, um, so back to Davis. Davis is, I'm um, trying to work on, you know, a more diplomatic way to help Tariq out besides the whole revenge and violence thing. You know what I'm saying? He don't want to draw too much attention to himself or, you know, me to his clients. So, you know, because he remember um, Davis is working with Noma. And he got all these side deals and side hustles going on with her, you know, to help clean up her dirty money and her shady businesses. She got over there, you know, across the pond and all that. So she's trying to bring that money over here to the States in a legit way yeah, but you know her citizenship is the issue that's what's holding her up so Kane presents an option to her uh, to get her citizenship quicker and that is to marry him now I don't know how, I mean, well I do know how I feel about that I don't like it because I don't like I don't I just can somebody help me in these comments or something maybe I'm missing something I don't get it I'm like First of all, Kane and Method Man competing with this, like, I don't know. It's just giving weird. One is all young, one is older. Like, it's just weird. She looks older than both of them. I don't, I, I just really don't get it. And it's just like, are we really chasing down this lady for real? Like, uh, it's like, I don't get it. And then it's like, I'm like, does Kane really like this lady? And because he's like, oh, okay, well, if you marry me, that or whatever, this ain't gonna be no employee type relationship. We're a partnership and blah 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 blah. And I'm I can be more than just a a, a business arrangement or a, mar a business marriage to you or some arranged marriage, whatever the hell he said. He wants to be more than that. I'm like, well, wait a minute, you got Effie back at the crib waiting for you to fucking come back home. Like I am confused. Kane, are you out here stringing these ladies along? wanting your cake and eating it too is that what's happening here it's too much of that going on around here on these youtube streets i promise you 
but that is so weird to me like i thought kane was really doing that like to like you know i guess like kissing up to the lady kiss up the normal all right to be like second in command or whatever number her number two her number one whatever the hell it is i'm getting like dr evil like number one number two whatever the hell but i'm just like do you really like this lady and then why are you like still entertaining effie you know what i mean you was all concerned with her good shit effie got away from them russians by the skin of her teeth she did it got her head blown off and then she went out and now no one talking about now she can't get out she still got to do more business which they had to go steal a whole, uh, I guess, the whole computer. They had to uh, hack into the NYPD database from a cop, they, and they stuck. I don't know. That part was a little bit intense. I'll let you, I'll let y'all see how that plays out. They had to, they had to sneak into an officer's house and really, um, you know, hack his computer to get into the NYPD database. That that part was a bit um interesting. You know, it was it was a little piece of intense. So I won't ruin that part for y'all. So I'll let y'all watch that. But I don't know. I I'm just I'm not getting the 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 Noma Kane Davis dynamic. Like I just don't get. It's like they. I don't know. Uh, it's like oh my gosh, she's so alluring, and it, I I don't know. I, she look like they could she could be both their mothers. I'm. So, God forgive me. I know that like Mel, you being too much. I'm sorry. That lady look old, and it, I don't know if it's that wig, that Sunday service wig she got. I don't know. The wig is not doing it for me. I think it's the fucking wig. The wig is bothering me. That wig is bothering me. It is giving Sunday service usher at the door, welcome everybody. Please get a program and go sit down and listen to pass and talk. Like I don't like that wig. That wig is horrible to me. I'm sorry. I don't like it. Her her makeup is giving cremation number five. That foundation is looking a little bit too pasty. It is giving cremation number five realness. Like I don't know. I know. It's not nice, but it is. It is what it is. Get the makeup people then. Shit. Don't get me. Get the makeup people at the at the fucking studio. It ain't me. I I just don't get it. I don't get how no one's just. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. How she just bagging and snagging and tagging him. I don't know. And then another thing I did not like. Uh, no, we're going to save her for last. Because I know y'all going to be mad at me if I start in on her. So I'm going to save her for last. We're going to go. We're going to cut the tape real quick. We're going to cut the um, Congressman Tate. Um, he saw his brother's body. He, you know, identified the body. Um thought it was there of course you know we're gonna catch these guys and that and i'm like dude you is the guy you caught already but of course congressman t doesn't know that so he's like you know when you find the guys that did this to my brother you know i better be the first call you better let me know that and i whatever whatever just look at his brother's killer right in the face right so i'm like how trifling is this dude but he didn't show sure just looked him all up and down in his fucking face and was like, yep, I'm going to tell you as soon as I know something, I'm going to tell you about it. Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. I was like, wow, this dude is a whole dirt bag. So, um, you know, so Congress, he's like, you know, he's offering every resource, every financial resource, any any police help or, you know, any type of resources he can give them, he's, help, he's offering it to him to help catch the killers or whatever. So Carter puts it on the Russians. That, um, that bag, you know, that, um, that almost got effort, you know. So Carter puts it on the Russians or whatever like that. So now it takes mine. It's like, you know, go get those, you know, go get the asses or whatever like that. You know, bring me somebody, whatever like that, that or whatever like that to bring closure to my brother's, you know, murder or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? So now Carter is scrambling. He is looking like, okay, now he got to come up with like a whole plausible scenario to sell to his team as to why they're like so much on the hunt for the killers for Congressman Tate and then he has to make that story believable to Congressman Tate so it all could tie you know what I mean so it all could connect tie together and make sense you know what I'm saying so uh he does his best he does his little piece of best to uh make sense of the situation right he like I said he's putting it off on the Russian And Felicia is being real insensitive to it, like, oh, why do we give a damn? That or whatever. 
he's just a you know he was a he was a weird old cop when you like him no way that or whatever good riddance he was gonna get us all got that or whatever carter is like show him some respect stop the bullshit because he he know he the reason why he going you know what i'm saying so now he like oh don't talk about him like that the seven third or whatever so she's talking about oh, okay sorry yada 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 little dude he know she right here fucking you know what i mean hurting potential mothers and shit you know what i'm saying like she a dirt bag her own there so but she ain't know it yet so Mary um met a uh, Monet, Mary Monet. Um, she met up with Carter and let Carter know, Felicia, your dirty cop. She beat the mess out of Diana, and I'm about to fuck her up. So what you gonna do about it? So here he go. You don't get to come attack my cops. You think I'm gonna give you the green light to get at her? That or whatever. That's not how this work. I'm gonna fuck you and your whole family up. You know his threats. Yada yada yada. You touch her, it's on and popping. It's up in the stock. Yada yada yada. So Mary is like, well, you better do something with the bitch before I get to her. That's all the fuck I know. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving it to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Brooklyn terms, okay? But y'all can watch the show. But still and all. So Mary's on something. You better do something with that bitch. Because if I get a hold to her, oh, it's going to be a lot of slow singing. If the flower bringing, my burger law start ringing, okay? So he is like, well, you let me hear that. Da, 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 da. So he went and talked to Felicia when she was about to come into the station. He met her in her car and you know in the parking lot. And he is like, Yo, are you using again? Apparently she had some type of drug habit he had to help her out with, you know what I'm saying? Or must have covered up for something because he a dirty ass cop. So you know he done covered up some stuff for them or whatever like that. So he's like, Are you using again? You know, that or whatever. So she's like, What are you talking about? No, da da da. He said, Yo, you beat up that girl and like made her lose her baby. Da da da. So she's like, I didn't know. Had I known and da 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 da. Blah, 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 blah. So by the time he's he's like, Yo, just go home, stay out the way, yada, yada, yada. He was like, I told you to handle Zion. You know, that she said, I, I beat her up because she didn't handle Zion like I told her. So he's like, Why didn't you do it? I told you to do it. And she was like, no, because IAB was on my ass, so I needed her to do it, da da da. And he was like, well, how did you know Tariq did it anyway? And she was, and he was like, he he off them at the stash house. So that's how, you know, that's the only place that got surveillance or whatever like that. So now she done put the whole team up for grabs. So kind of low key, she, you know what I mean? Now she the opt too. So now he got to tie up that loose hand too, you know what I'm saying? So it was like low key. I thought he was, you know what I'm saying? I thought it was like, oh shit, here you go. You on his radar because we already seen what he did for Kamal, you know, for the for for Lorenz Tate brother. We seen what he did for him. So I was like, girl, Molly, he went danger, girl. I was like, whoop. So she goes home or whatever. You know, he sends her home. But now we skipping to we back to Diana. So now she full of rage, she full of anger. She's just full of hate. She is just full of, I'm going to get this bitch. She's full of revenge. She's full of, I'm getting this bitch today. So she um, gets, she breaks in uh, Monet's safe, gets her gun, goes out there, you know, on a one-man mission, you know, and this and third, she called her before she rolled out. And he was like, you know, I, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you as soon as I get out of here. I'm gonna help da da da. And you know, I should have been in da da da. And she's like, you not here now. You know, all of y'all wasn't there for me when I needed y'all. So I gotta go do this by myself. It's all about me, yada yada yada. Now, mind you, she just told a lady she's a college student. She don't be unaliving people. She don't do that. She not a drug dealer, all this type stuff or whatever. She don't do that type of life. But now she toting pal pals and walking out the door. Billy Badass style, ready to rock and roll, right? So she definitely followed Felicia home. So she was in the parking lot with them at the precinct. And she, you know what I'm saying? She followed Felicia home. So she went, you know what I mean? Busted through the door with Felicia to stand the third. Got at her one good time. And shall. Now, Felicia was kind of getting the best of her little piece of bit. But. Yeah, I guess yeah, huh. Diana wasn't having it. She was full of all that rage and got and got the best of Felicia. Yeah, she took that cast iron pot and went bang bang, went bang 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 pow pow, bang like fucking Bugs Bunny frying pan on her ass. Okay, went one time on her ass. So we kind of thought, um, just to backtrack real quick, we kind of thought. Tariq was going to be the one to handle that whole situation, but Brayden convinced him, you know what? 
if, you know, you know, I know I'm fucking up or whatever like that. Cause I told you they got burning all kind of piece of cokeheads and all this and crackheads, and I can't deal with it. So Tariq is not really feeling nothing that he got going on. He's not feeling nothing he's saying. So Brandon's like, you know what? If you're not going to be receptive to anything I'm saying or you don't want to listen to me, go to somebody you trust and let them know about your plan to, you know what I mean, to offer a cop. Because he is like, that is crazy. Like, you can't be running around here doing shit like that. So, of course, Tariq goes to the one person in the world that he know he can trust, Tasha. So, while Tariq is at Tasha's, you know, um filling her in on what's going on catching her up da, da, da. you know she starts to feel bad because she didn't know about the baby um now she knows what's happening the Santa third so she's really really trying to tell Tariq really think about what you're doing really think about your consequences you don't want to go down this path you don't want to end up like your father you don't want to end up like me in some type of program or in jail getting arrested dipping dodging the law you don't want to take it there so while he's having a whole powwow with Tasha Diana is all on a whole fucking stakeout. She on a whole stakeout thing. And she is definitely at Felicia house and all up in Felicia's kitchen. Help bang banging Louisville Slugger with that um whole cast iron frame pan. What Diana did not realize was when she looked over after she, you know, banged her head on, you know, banged her head with the frying pan, she looked over on them steps and saw children's toys on them steps. She goes up them stairs and it's a whole Tyler in the room. I don't wish it whatever it's called, a little child, adolescent. I don't know, but it's a whole little Tyler child. It's a whole little piece of child that could talk, that could see, that could tell them what they look like, all that good stuff. So of course she calls Tariq. Tariq, you gotta help me. You know, she just and this is another thing with Diane. I'm about to I'm about to really ready for them to just retire her. I don't know. Make her a full blown thug or a full blown student. I don't know which one. I'm tired of her with the I don't do this. I want me and my baby out of this life and you're not good enough for us, Tariq. But now you want a whole like orphan spree. Now now you like revenge mode. Like, uh it's like girl, I'm gonna need you to pick a struggle. Either like you was either you was you know, either you Britney Spears or you orange is the new black. Like which one? Huh? I don't know. I, I I have no clue. I have no clue. But you know, she calls Tariq to come save her and this and third. And Tariq is looking like, I can't fix this. I don't know how to fix it for you. He is like, you know, you you would think revenge is gonna really, you know, satisfy you and satisfy what you had going on, but it just eats you up and live with you forever. And she is looking at, but you gotta help me, please. And I know he's looking like, I can't help you, bro. I don't know what you want me to do. I don't know what you want me to do. So he comes over there. He can't help her. They, you know, they see the child and everything. The child woke up and everything. It's like, oh, hey, where's my mom? And da da da. They're like, hey, buddy, why don't you go back to sleep? That child can, like, saw them in their faces, saw what they had on, can recognize them and all that shit. So they put them back in the bed or whatever, put them to sleep. Monet pops up. She sees all what's going on. Oh, Lord. All right. Well, y'all two get out of here. I'm, you know, I'll figure out something to do with the body and blah, blah, blah. And yada, yada, yada. Child, Carter, and Drew roll up to the house. And the only reason why Carter ain't off every last one of them is because you dropped down on every last one of them. Told them that the plug was the Russians when it really wasn't the Russians. It was really Mo. I mean, not Monet. It was really um, Noma. So told, told Carter about the whole plan, the kit and caboodle child, and he is like, "You better things you. That's the only reason why I ain't put one in nut all of y'all. Put some hot lead in all of y'all, child. Bye. So they all looking at you like you whole fucking snitch, and I'm looking like he the only one that's holding it down. He op. He holding it down. This dude that went to jail and off like two people unscathed doing like the police dirty work. He is out here riding around and getting it. Okay. Everybody else is fucking about fucking up the brand. Okay. Everybody else is fucking up the brand. So I'm just like, what is really happening? What is going on with these people? So now it is like, okay, so we gotta figure out. Well, now Tariq is there at the house too, at Felicia house. And now Carter is looking like, welcome to the team because y'all all working for me now. So now that's one more added to the mix of Carter's Cruella DeVille tactics. 
Oh, before I let up on Carter, his own right hand man's and um, I forgot the guy's name. Now y'all gonna help me out in the chat with the with the other um detective that um Lorenz Tate brother come on that he was trying to warn Carter of. Now he know damn well Carter bullshitting about them Russians. Cause he is like, ain't no way the Russians would just come out to come on like that for no reason. Like for what? And he already know they didn't. They wasn't able to get at him. Cause he why? Cause he he stole half the money from the bus when they when they was at the place with the Russians. So he know damn well they ain't come for him. Cause they would have got him. Cause he took their money. So he know called the bullshit. So I am interested. Cause Carter did a whole little piece of, he found like some Russian fool guy to take the whole rap for um Lorenz Tate brother murder. So he shot some dude, planted a gun on him, and shot in the air and all that. Made it like a whole little piece of shootout. But it was too clean, it was too perfect, it was too convenient. The story was too convenient. But see, the thing is, when you've been around somebody that taught you how to be crooked, taught you how to be dirty, game recognized game, he already know he bullshitting them. So he looking like, I know this dude don't think I believe what the fuck he's talking, but he's like, you know, let's just wrap it up. You know, let's write the report. Let's get it over to Congressman Tate. Let's wrap this thing up with a bowl. Let's get the fuck out of it. I have a feeling that cop is going to get, is getting ready to turn on Carter. Y'all drop in the comments, let me know the dude's name. I forgot his name that fast. And I don't, you know, I don't want to rewind and go back. But I forgot the dude's name, but he going to turn on Carter. But you know Carter gonna do what he gotta do. Shit, I know Carter don't wanna turn, get rid of the team, but shit, Carter kill every last one of them to save his own ass, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So, woo, y'all. This one was kinda I mean, it was it was a good episode to me. It was just again, like I said, the plot sped up very quickly. Some details in it kinda wasn't really believable. But I mean, you know, for lack of uh for lack of uh, new episodes coming, a new season's coming out. I mean, this is the series finale. So I guess they just like, let's wrap this up and call it a day. I don't know. To me, and again, I, I still see it on the show. It hasn't been the same since they killed Ghost off the first original one. I don't know. But, I mean, you know, I enjoyed it for the spinoff that it was. And I even was enjoying, like, Zeke. And by the time I even got used to Zeke, it was like bye bye Zeke. I was like, dang, uh, we I can't even win over here. By the time I even got used to Zeke, because Zeke was getting on my nerves with that whole dumb jock routine they had going on with him. But you know, I was just like, okay, let me give Zeke a chance. All we are saying is give Zeke a chance. And by the time I got used to Zeke, they all him. So I was just like, damn, you can't get used to nobody in this damn show. Or they gonna be out of here before you know it. Now, before I roll up out of here, I gotta, it would be remiss of me to not mention the fact that I did not fucking appreciate them fucking shoulder pads and maybe fucking leather jacket. Why the fuck did them shits look so fucking posted up? Like she was fucking standing in fucking Buckingham Palace and shit. I was like, why is them shoulder pads shoulder padding like that? Them shits are so square. It looked like a suit out of men's warehouse on the hangar. Oh my, it was bothering me. It was really bothering me. I know it's like, Mel, you talking about maybe. I'm talking about wardrobe. That was a problem for wardrobe. I didn't appreciate it. And I'm gonna need whoever's giving Mary like these waist cinches and like, you know what I mean, and putting these shits on her. I get it. You know, Mary wants that 30 year old body, but it's gonna have to match up with the year old face. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am sorry. Real recognize real. It is what it is. I love Mary. I sure do. Since the 90s. Real love. I'm searching for a real love. However, Mary. <laughs> Are you searching for a real love or a real girdle at this point? Mary, stop this. With the walking around them thigh high boots. With the 30 year old body with the 50 year old face. No. That's not what we're giving. That's like, It's giving Benjamin Button. It's giving March of the Wooden Soldiers with them shoulder pads. I didn't like it. I'm sorry. I just didn't. I didn't appreciate it. I'm sorry. I didn't. Had that coat on like the whole fucking damn day episode. I was like, take that shit off. It was bothering me. Them shoulder pads was bothering me. I'm sorry. Shoulder pads haven't bothered me so much in my life. I promise you. I didn't like it. I did not like it. And maybe if you don't stop fucking blinking, this shit is annoying as fuck. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. It's like, damn, why she can't have Mary like that? Because I didn't like it. The fuck? It's my opinion. It's my fucking review, my recap. I get to say what the fuck I want. The fuck? I don't know, y'all. 
but we gonna see what's going on on episode eight next week. All right, y'all. We gonna we gonna check in so we got. I don't know. We gonna see how to we gonna get out of this one. Of course, you know he's you know he's getting into the mind of ghost, getting into his bag of you know being on the top of the game and all those type of crap. Blah blah blah. Yada yada yada. Yeah. Blah blah. I just again, I don't like how they got Brayden off, went extra downhill, like lost his whole family and became a whole crackhead. Like speaking of yikes, you know what I'm saying? But y'all, I think that was all. I think I recapped everything I wanted to get out with this episode. I mean, you know, eh. I mean, what are y'all predictions for the next episode? If y'all saw it already, or even just from this recap I just gave, how do y'all think Sharika is gonna get from up under this? Caught a spell. I mean, Tariq doesn't know that Carter knows that he off Zion. He doesn't know that the, the safe house was bugged. So, I mean, Tariq thinks he's going to use that as leverage. I guess we'll see how he and Carter work that out. And then also, Tariq um, knows that Monet and him. Well, does he know Monet and him rob no more drugs? Does he? I kind of, I think I might have missed that one. I think that one might have went over my head. I know Carter knows. Carter knows now that no one's the plug. But everybody, I mean, everybody except for well, no, well, no one knows now too because uh, when they snuck into the database, when they when uh, Effie and uh, when Effie hacked into the NYPD database, her and uh, Kane figured out that Carter and his team were dirty. But now Kane knows that Felicia was part of the dirty crew, but he doesn't know she's she's unalive yet as well. So. And what's going to happen to the child? Like, who's going to have the family Bible? Y'all, I guess we're going to see next week. That's these, You know what I'm saying? I left with more questions than I did answers. But I guess we'll find out in the next episode, y'all. Y'all come back and see me next week for another recap of Power. I'm going to try to give y'all... I mean, you know, I try to give y'all recaps of the shows that interest me. You know? I try my best. But y'all, I appreciate y'all. Replay crew, make sure you smash that like button. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend. I appreciate y'all. Got those some hundred signs in the chat. Let me know y'all rocking with me. Those some hundred signs in the chat. Let me know y'all rocking with me. And I'm going to see y'all on the next one. All right, y'all. I will definitely see y'all on the next one. Y'all have a good one, um, Hunter Sims crew. Definitely appreciate y'all. Make sure you smash that like button on your way out. Have a good one, y'all. They say this is a big rich town I just come from the poorest part Bright light city life, I gotta make it, this is where it goes down I just happen to come up hard Legal or illegal, baby, I gotta make it I never it. took a straight path nowhere Life's full of twists and turns, bumps and bruises, I live, I learn I'm from that city full of yellow cabs and skyscrapers It's hard to get a start in these parts without paper Homie, I grew up in hell, a block away from heaven That corner ain't 15 minutes, it moved to seven Pure snow, bag it, then watch it go Occupational options, get some blow or some hoes Shoot the ball or the strap, learn the rap or the jack Fuck it, man, in the meantime, go ahead and pump a pack This my regal royal flow, my James Bond bounce That 007, that 62 on my count I'm an undercover liar, I lie under the covers Look a bitch in the eyes and tell her, baby, I love it You're my inspiration, you're my motivation You're the reason that I'm moving with no hesitation this yeah. is a big, rich town Yeah, I just come from the poet's part Bright light, city life, I gotta make it This is where it goes down